that you have some an interesting metaphor you're going to share with us about dating and what you've learned or how that might teach us about our users. So Pia Frey with Opinary, please welcome her here. So I would not call myself an expert in relationships. I'm not running a subscription business, but I came across both subscriptions and relationships in my life and I found some parallels that I wanted to share. Um, subscriptions are a big thing right now and um, they are, there is definitely a lot of beauty to being independent from uncertain ad revenues and um, being building a business based on users who love your content so much that they're willing to pay for it. From a user perspective, uh, there, not, there might not be as much excitement as a lot of great stuff gets locked behind paywalls, which comes together with a big change in the type of relationship that's being built between users and publishers. And if you look at the past ad-driven era, you could compare this relationship, if the slide wasn't so small, to uh, one-night stands. It was all about the quick click and getting as many quick <laughs> clicks as possible. And <clears throat> click, read, gone was the dynamic to go. Whereas in the subscription era, it's much more about it's much about much more about building loyal relationships, building trust, um, building commitment, and even including sacrifices that are brought by users who pay their monthly subscription fee. And this is not an easy change. So um, how is it happening? First relationship advice: it takes time to build loyal relationships, and it takes a lot of patience and persistence to build this level of commitment and trust. So when you look at a typical dating funnel, it often starts with meeting someone in a bar, having a random conversation, then uh, meeting for drinks. You must be more quiet, I have to concentrate. Um, going to the cinema, uh, having dinner together, and in the end, maybe deciding to uh, have a relationship. L transition this to the uh, subscription world, um, it could be compared to the journey that leads from a first-time article click to a subscription. And the problem is that many publishers are so excited about subscriptions that are trying, they are trying to make a first-time user to a subscriber, which is like <laughs> asking a random person in a bar if they want to marry you. <laughs> it's not likely to happen. <clears throat> so second advice. Uh, Relationships are built, so it's not respectful to do this here. So um, relationship advice, communication is key, and it takes a lot of talking to build a loyal relationship. And uh, engagement leads to loyalty. And um, when you think back of this uh, loyalty, uh, this uh, um, dating funnel, um, what sticks the different stages of the funnel together is communication, is a lot of texting, talking to each other. This is what is driving the trust. Um, the problem is again now here that publishers um, are not that good at talking to their user. On-site engagement is typically at around like 0.5%. And every, on every random e-commerce site, a user is, more, is uh, more engaged than on a typical publisher site. So there is a lack of communication going on, which is why we founded Opinary, which is a company that enables users to express their opinion in online articles, which helps publishers and brands to engage and understand and convert their audiences. And we learned that when you make it easy and rewarding for users to share their opinion, they are very much willing to do it, and they're rewarding you with very high engagement and conversion rates, because um, engagement drives loyalty and every relationship starts with the conversation. Tech, uh, third advice, um, you should always be able to leave a relationship. You should always be able to quit. And you should always be able to cancel a subscription. Maybe it's because uh, publishers love their users so much that they give them often quite hard times to <laughs> leave a relationship. And this is not how it should work. And it leaves, um, it definitely highest the barrier um, to uh, start a subscription in the first place. Last but not least, um, subscriptions are great and there is a lot of untapped potential, um, but you shouldn't put all your eggs in that one basket because um, 
not every user is a potential subscriber. And um, when users are being asked, are you willing to subscribe, for example, this Reuters study from last year shows that a large majority says they will never ever want to become a subscriber, pay for online news. And so this is not too bad because um, you can even build a good business um, on, uh, with a combination of revenue drivers. And as long as you treat users in user-friendly ways, you can even benefit in your ad revenues from having a huge base, a good base of subscribed users because it makes you more attractive from an advertising perspective. So um, what I'm saying, not every random bar conversation will lead into a go, will become a relationship and not every user is a potential subscriber. But um, um, when you treat each other with respect and when you talk to each other and when you don't force yourself into, you, your users into relationship, there is a lot of room for great friendship with users.